Thunderbird. We've all heard this name applied to many applications before, including classic cars, motorcycles, comic book characters, and even Air Force fighter planes. But what does it actually mean? Believe it or not, it comes from many Native American cultures. Its true meaning differs according to region and tribe, but in general, the Thunderbird is viewed as a large legendary bird, typically an eagle. It's symbolic of life, truth, and energy, and is considered a powerful sign of destiny to the Indians. The most common belief was that the Thunderbird was an omen of war. They believed that the Thunderbird would beat its massive wings causing thunder, high winds, and even lightning shooting from the bird's eyes. The thunder was believed to be the sign of spirits that were at war in the sky, and was even a sign of victory for tribal wars being fought on the ground. Descriptions of the Thunderbird can be found on totem poles, pottery, cave art, and in ancient myths and legends of the Native Americans. Although the true meaning of the Thunderbird is less known today, some say they've spotted this legendary bird flying through the farms and forests of southern Indiana. I'm Patrick of Coaster Phoenix, and today I'm proud to bring you a POV and full review of Thunderbird. This B&M launched wing coaster opened in 2015 at Holiday World in Santa Claus, Indiana. Thunderbird features an LSM launch that rockets the train from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. It has a max height of 140 feet with four inversions on 3,035 feet of track for a total ride time of 1 minute and 18 seconds. So for this step-by-step -step breakdown, we're going to look at it from my favorite side, which is the left. After boarding, the train creeps forward into the launch section of the barn. After a brief stop, mist shoots out from the sides of the barn and sound effects can be heard in the background. The train then launches to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. At the end, you rise up into the 140 foot tall Inleman loop. On exit, you dive down over the main walkway, making a gradual left turn. Once you reach the bottom, you rise up into the second inversion, which is a 125 foot tall vertical loop. At the bottom, you cross right over the voyage and into a bank turn to the right, followed by another bank turn to the left, passing directly underneath the first turn. These two turns form almost a figure eight shape. On exit, you dive down to ground level and then rise up into the third inversion, which is a zero G roll. One of the best inversions on any wing coaster for sure. On exit, you hit a big S curve, which leads into the keyhole, which is shaped like a barn. After the keyhole, you exit with a hard turn to the left. Next is by far my favorite part of the ride. The train begins to rotate counterclockwise to the left through an inline twist, traveling back through the side of the barn again. This is such a long and drawn out inversion that is just so well done. Easily one of my favorite moments on any roller coaster I've ever been on. After the inline twist, you hit the final brake run and make a right hand turn back into the loading station. So in the coaster community, wing coasters are kind of frowned upon amongst enthusiasts. Those of you that follow my channel know that I typically have different opinions than the other enthusiasts, which is something I'm proud of actually, which is why I take no shame in saying that Thunderbird in my eyes is one of the best roller coasters in the world. It's kind of hard to explain it you guys, but this coaster just gets to me, similar to Millennium Force and the Beast. Every time I ride Thunderbird, I laugh like a little kid the whole ride. It's just an all around good time. It puts out a very smooth ride, a solid launch, and excellent inversions. For me, it's just one of those rare rides that gets everything right. I love the Thunderbird theme, the bright orange track, and the barn shaped loading station is so well done. Whenever I talk about wing coasters, I always tell people to ride them at least twice. One on each side of the train. It really does make a difference as both sides put out a totally different ride experience. As for Thunderbird, I prefer the left side, but don't take my word for it. Always ride both. Thunderbird is a perfect example of why I love Holiday World. Rather than have 15 mediocre roller coasters, they go for quality over quantity. Thunderbird is a quality roller coaster. It's very re-rideable, it's memorable, and I couldn't recommend it more to you guys. Now go ride it for yourself. Sit back, hold on tight, and enjoy your ride on both sides of Thunderbird.
Welcome back riders, I hope you all enjoyed your ride on Thunderbird. If you did, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Let me know in the comments what you think of Thunderbird, and which side you prefer when you ride it. Those of you that are new around here can smash that Coaster Fanatics icon to subscribe and stay updated on all things roller coaster. Thanks for watching and have a good one. I'm Patrick of Coaster Fanatics and I'll catch you all in the next video very very soon.